much. Coach, you messed up my doggone hair. <laughs> Thank you, Coach Witzer. I love you, too. Uh, Thank you for your kind words, and I'm grateful you didn't allow me to quit in the fall of 1976. Buddy and Helen Watts in the city of Eufaula, <clears throat> the city of Eufaula gave me my roots, but Oklahoma University and Oklahoma football gave me my wings. Congratulations to all the other inductees tonight and to your families and I know this is a great honor. We've had a chance to meet and get to know each other a little bit, and, and I am thrilled to be uh, going into the Oklahoma Hall of Fame with each and every one of you. I'm pretty surprised tonight that this platform will hold me because so many people are standing here with me tonight. My parents, Buddy and Helen Watts, my grandmother, Mitty Watts, my Uncle Wade and Aunt Betty, uh, my siblings, my family, my FCA family, coaches from junior high and high school and through my professional football career, friends who have stood by me and encouraged me, and I owe the greatest debt of gratitude to my kids, um, Tia and Lakeisha and Jarrell and Jennifer and Julia and Trey, who are all here with me tonight. But I owe the greatest debt of gratitude to my wife, Frankie, who not only have stood with me, but has kept me totally grounded. I am so grateful for all the men and women, black, white, red, yellow, brown, who has who have sown into my life over the last 62 years, pastors, business people, coaches, I am totally grateful to them all. Two things I've learned in my 62-year journey that I want to leave with you, that I have adopted and have stood on these principles all of my adult life. One. We all are dysfunctional. It's just a matter of degree. <laughs> we come into the world bent the wrong way. And if you think you're not dysfunctional, that's your dysfunction. <laughs> the tragedy in life is not that we are dysfunctional. The tragedy in life is when we allow our dysfunction to become our normal. My faith and athletics have taught me, try every day to do life better. Don't ever allow your dysfunction to become your normal. Secondly, my 62-year journey has taught me that you can take all the credit in the world when you get it right, but you have to be responsible when you get it wrong. Friends, the strength of Oklahoma is not in our energy fields, not in our agriculture fields, not in our technology fields. The strength of Oklahoma is in our people. You, me, us, our hopes, our dreams, our ideas, but most importantly, our goodness. I am grateful that this place that you and I call home and the rest of the world calls Oklahoma, that somebody at the Oklahoma Hall of Fame thought that the story of Oklahoma would not be complete without the mention of J.C. Without the mention of J.C. Watts. Junior, Frankie and I are grateful, we are humbled, and we appreciate this great honor. Thank you very much.